Google's consent mode version 2 compared to version 1. What's the difference? The latest policy set by Google now tells you that you cannot send website traffic data to Google servers unless you have privacy policies and you're informing your website visitors and they accept the tracking okay so let me show you a sample code because it'll make sense to you in terms of understanding the difference with consent mode version 2 let's imagine google analytics or google ads conversion tracking and so on this is how the version 2 differs this is a basic code that says the default state of tracking should be set to deny now when someone lands on your website let's imagine that they browse your contact page or front page at that moment in version one you could still send data to google servers but now version two tells you no you can't do that anymore you need to set the default state to be denied then when someone accepts your policies that is when you need to update the the data sent so that you say okay now it is granted so that's the main difference and do you have to use it absolutely you need to use it because if you're using google analytics google ads google adsense then you're tracking your website visitors furthermore you are actually <laughs> agreeing to the terms of use for google products so therefore the version 2 of consent mode tells you that from now on you have to set the default state to be denied unless your website visitor accepts it when they accept it that's when you can send the traffic traffic data to google servers okay that's the main difference and although google help section may recommend using plugins or templates and so on for small business websites for most websites you really need to step back and really consider better ways of implementing this because main plugins and apps they actually <laughs> cater for everything and yet most websites let's imagine a small business local website you may not need the functional or performance or ad advertisement for example okay so it depends on the google product that you're using and there is always better ways of implementing the content mode version 2 requirements i'm actually creating new content on rank your website you may like to check it out for best practices as well okay i thank you for learning with rank and i'll talk with you in the next video session